Hello everyone and welcome back to the Iron Sidecast. Me Matt, a very two two for you all here on French Hedgerows on the Western Front. Let's go through the players. Representing the Germans today, we've tested your line, Mr. Wehrmacht, and Smokey with straight the game, but like the division shown, also for the Wehrmacht. That man is going to try and stop the Allied push through France at this point. Representing the Allies today, here in Normandy, we have Frederick Norheim as tank destroyer company for the United States of America. Important, and we have Kigurung as the British Commonwealth without a commander series yet. So, a combined British American push here in France. Western Front in 1944. Yeah, this turns out. The little command shows from Tessia Lime. So, both sides are still waiting a little bit on what they're gonna do. But this map is called French Hedgerows, and I guess it kind of fits the theme. The hedgerows are not that thick, and there's not that many of them. So it looks like a neat map. It reminds me of a map. I played a lot back in the original Call of Duty, I think. A map that was very much like this. At least I think so. I might be remembering wrong. There's some parachute textures around. Ready and waiting. Orders, the parachute parachute groups probably arrived earlier. Not main uh, main fighting forces here. Just nice and quiet here in the French countryside. There's a destroyed Sherman here with some corpses. And a dead paratrooper. Sherman destroyed there. Just a nice little atmospheric map here. Just a quiet before the storm. I always did enjoy the calm music for Company of Heroes 2 before the battle. Like the one you're listening to now. Makes everything feel a little bit more tense. Because you don't know when the first round is going to get fired. When you encounter the enemy. I think we might have an encounter soon. I think the British might be the one to encounter the Germans first. We might have... Yeah, first shot's been fired. It looks like the uh, British have already gone for command. I think this is armoured. Royal tank, never mind. Yeah, the Brits have encountered the Germans. The Germans are using up some of the trench fortifications up here. And using the destroyed tanks here's an advantage. The British have moving up through the open, making them easy targets. They do throw an instant grenade though. Oh, and get a whole squad with it! That impact grenade from the Sabers is really good. But Sabers do go down because of it. Meanwhile, anyway, the Americans are now encountering the Germans on the southern flank. Testy Lime has gone for Panzer Division. So we have a very heavily mechanized force here from the Germans. Diva rank here for the United States. This Sapper squad is in deep trouble. America has gotten close to their grants. Sapper squad even eliminated. Grandier is trying to move around the trench network, but the Americans already inside it. These Grandiers probably want to get out of there. They don't want to be that close to the fire. But the Jeep is just going to put them down here amongst the hedgerows. Oh, it managed to get around the corner. Will it save him? Looks like it might. But the Grenadier squad is down here in the trench now. And could get overrun pretty easily. Love here that folks Grenadiers and the Sabas are keeping the bridges at bay. But it's using their tank here for cover. As well as the Universal Carrier coming up to provide some support. Already being equipped with a Vickers K on top. We have to get the sender here with some folks Grenadiers and are quickly relocating with MP40s. Grenadiers moved down in the trench. Also have an MG42 coming onto the field here for the Wehrmacht for the northern flank. Because K is going to be very hard for the Germans to deal with at the moment. They, don't really they are getting a Panzerbüchse though, which will be able to take it out. And I think the Universal Carrier knows what's happening, so it's pulling back. Oh, it's taking a range here for supporting fire. But the Panzerbüchse is about to be upgraded, there it goes. Quickly taking a shot there and killing the gunner. And the Universal Carry manages to get away, I think. Of course, it's uh, being shot to pieces here by the Jeep. He was a very good mobile uh, support piece here for the Americans. They have actually suffered very heavy infantry losses early on by the looks of it. But the northern flank is somewhat being held down. And an MG42 is in a position now. That's going to prevent a lot of British movement across the fields. 
So not a lot of cover in the open fields here. Okay, Bear 43 is being handed out here too. The uh, Bear Mark the Grenadiers. Well, going to be one with a scope, evidently. So they're going for long range combat. Post is holding up against uh, behind a wing here against the Jeep. More Grenadiers are still getting onto the field. Replacement Pioneers have been called in though for the Wehrwacht. They, they if they need it to start building up their base. But it's like gearing up for another push potentially. They have brought a Vickers machine gun. Longer tried to be established but too late. Germans need to just get into the trench. Another bonger being established inside the trench. This might have to be uh, become a medic bonger or command bonger I imagine. Because K is going for it. The, the British, uh, the German staff are busy. Oh, instant smoke, very smart. Get by the last one being tossed in. Vickers K being tossed. Not Vickers K, yeah. Mills bomb. But the pioneers take out the universal carrier. Another Mills bomb goes in. A bit of sappers can hold. A pioneers, I mean, yeah, pioneers get blown to pieces. One great idea, squad left. Going to smoke grenade to try and see if they can get unsuppressed, but they're still under fire. So I think the British might actually be successfully assaulted this trench network. Grenadiers are no longer under suppression, though. But the British have got into a good position. Well, Grenadiers quickly rush to the front. I feel like the marksman rifles are not really working out for the Grenadiers in this case. They have to retreat all the way around here to get out. Looks like it will actually help them. And yes, can move into the other side of the trench network. And will the Americans have secured the center of the road here? The Germans are still moving some troops around about. They do have a 2-2-1 uh, on the field. Driving around here, but it's an MT-42 on top. And we also have a 261, a command car here. So the motorized forces of the Wehrmacht have started to arrive. Postgres can go to pieces. Scopes doing give their hand out here too. The Grenadiers, unique upgrade to them if you're playing as a Panzer Division. Who's the one that's down the hunt? He has to be cautious. I did manage to suppress the gunner though, which means the 221 cannot fire back. 261 on the assault. Trying to attack through the open ground though it means that it makes an easy target. Trying to get around, but it's being hit by a lot of machine gun fire. Oh, it crushed someone! MG42 covering the flank here. Very rude and desperate move here from the 261. Guess it's working out, but it's still suppressed. But now it's made to the MG42. And the other British infantry lack means to penetrate. And the 261 can just pull back for some repairs. Panzer Gradius are arriving with a half track now to support the open flank and um, make a nice battle group. The Suga teams are now arriving bit by bit for the Americans. Looks like they managed to. Oh no, wait, the 2 uh, two, two, 1 is now 2 2 2. It ha are already being upgraded. It has its auto cannon and it's getting Rad Panzer, which will increase its armor quite a lot actually. Yeah, 50% the increased armor, that's a lot. But the Americans are taking in and laying mines. Want to make it clear they're holding the southern flank now. You have some units of the Großdeutschland Panzer Division coming in. Some of the better Panzer Grenadiers that Panzer can get, but you can only get one of them at a time. Really good squad, by the way. The point is just, that, just staying there like that. Oh, you can capture it by staying in the three separate trenches. That's neat. I did not know that was a thing. That's a very unique point setup. Looks like D222 got destroyed. Yep. Taken out here by a tank gun. But Panzer Grenadier is getting on the flank though. Got hit by an anti tank rifle grenade. But he still pushed through. Oh, yeah, there is a Valentine tank on the field. I don't think the Panzer Grenadier is uh, prepared for that. They already evacuated, you know. They don't realize something is happening. Have that gets taken out, but the Panzer Grenadiers are fine. 
have been equipped with MKB-42s and some MP-40s. It's a very assault that we ended right here. But they're being flanked by a jeep. They might have to get out of there. I don't think they can get out of there though, they've been pinned. Gonna make an attempt for it. Might be a little bit overextended. Oh! Gets hit up by an AP round! That's brutal. Command Bunga has been set up here in the fields. Oh, two remains around, but there's a lag of things to deal with the uh, Valentine. Of course, the Germans can just fall back here. So they don't have to fall back that far. And the Southern Flying Bearback Panther 2 Command Tank. Driving about the hedgerows. There's a flare going on, probably allowing the Americans to see what's going on all the time. American 80 guns are sitting up out here in the fields. To get some good sights on that Panzer 2. I don't think the Panzer 2 can last long out there. They realize something is up. Ooh. So far, it's not held up. Also, there's some Panzer mission in the fields. They do manage to kill the guard out though on the... Uh, on the fighting in place, but... Also, there's some Panzer on the move. They may equip with their Gewehr 43 with scope and Gewehr 43 Sturm Gewehrs. Which is basically just a Gewehr 43 which has been upgraded to use the Sturm Gewehr magazine. So it allows them to have 30 rounds. Rather than uh, 10 rounds. Pretty intriguing little thing. Oh, 80 gun pan and managed to pierce the Panzer 2. Panzer 2 taken out. And the, can the Sturm guy, uh, Panzer guy just hold this line against all these Americans? He decided one's getting close. And I'm going, it, going that way. It's going for the officer, actually. Oh, because the officer's calling in artillery. Now, the Panzer idea that had a little bit more support. You will probably have held that pretty well. But being alone like that against all the an American fire, probably a little bit too much. Well, so far, they're still doing a pretty good job at range. But they are suffering losses now. The BAR is assigned to show. Some kind of DSL are arriving here to support. They, and they arrived a little bit too late, maybe. But well, this is going on, the British are assaulting. They have over around the trench up here. They're flanking around with the Valentine. Command car take note. Smoke has been launched here. Pack is being rolled up. Now, the officer can still be useful, though, for did like, even without his vehicle. He's still a fairly combatant the fighting squad. But that's the advantage of the uh, mechanized commanders above the armored commanders. They can still fight on foot fairly well. The uh, armored ones really cannot. The armored ones really need their vehicle. Tag is waiting for the smoke to clear. But it's been suppressed. Smoke grenade. Oh, very good use of the smoke grenades here from Kikaron. The Balanum being tossed out in the field. But looks like the machine gun of the British has been cleared out. We're being tossed at the pack. I've been overthrown. Oh, actually, they did a good job. The Panzer 4 one arriving here for the Panzer Division. Pioneers have to pull back down here. Looks like the Gulf Soils and they managed to get back. And the Leutnant is still in the field here. That is the guy from the Panzer 2. Not the best combatant common infantry, as I've said. You can see they're still in their Panzer uniforms. They'll probably still do their best, though. We also have a Panzer 4 one around for the Light like Division. Looks like the Valentine has been hit heavily by the... by the Panzer Buxer inside the, um, the tracks. Hack Gun is in a position to hit it, but the Valentine pulls back. They can use the Commander Bunger here to replenish. It's been converted into a... Uh, and the Tate's Bunga, a medic Bunga. Lieutenant Colonel, at your command. You found something? Ooh, there was a mine! Good use of the Americans to lay some mines. And that's gonna give them a lot of time. Because that vehicle's been detracted. Which means it's not moving. This has been repaired. It makes it an easy target. That's why you need to use mines, people. Mines are really good at stopping and a tank push. Now the 80 guns gonna try and do their best. Based on trying to get around here, getting mowed down, but the 80 guns do kill them. Right there on the Leutnant. 
killing the Lloydman too. Oh, the southern flank of the Valak has suffered catastrophic losses. We have the Desert Rats call out to the field. No, this is not. Is it the Desert Rats? I think it is. Uh, anyway, it's the Olympus Ars, a unique squad available to uh, the Royal Tank. Well, these might be the Desert Rats, uh, Desert Rats actually. Anyway, the F1 is trying to advance up here against the Valentine, but the Valentine has a pretty good gun for its size. It should not be underestimated. But the Panzer Bruxy squad is getting close. They might try to give out the Ladnung and. Oh, wait, they have anti tank rates because they're letting us like them. If they can get close enough, they can just Panzer Knack on this thing. But so far, the Valentines are holding. Oh, no, that's a Cromwell. Oh, boy. Now, that's a big problem here for the, uh, the Germans. Cromwell is a little bit more of a heavier tank in this department. A proper medium tank, which I don't think the Panzer IV one can deal with. And while the Americans are pushing down here in the southern flank, the Ghost Deutschland is just being overmanned, so to speak. I don't think they'll survive that. Oh, hey, they do sm smoke when they retreat, but they're still not going to make it. Unless this blocks the site. Looks like it does. Ghost Deutschland makes it out again. 15 Panzer on the fields. Panzer Media squad available to, uh, to uh, Wehrmacht Panzer. Basically, they're basic Panzer unit. You can get as many of them as you want, as you can afford, anyway. NG-34 being upgraded on it, and another Panzer II command tank has been requisitioned. Yes. If one needs some repairs, Bermak has fortified out here in the field the best they can. That deep shown Leutnant remaining about. The British uh, tank forces are repairing their vehicles. Looks like another mechanized battle group is making its way through, trying to decapture the fuel points. Pops, but it needs to start moving. That's oh, anyway. This looks like the Valentine is going to be on the hunt. That's two trying to advance down here, but it's just too much American defense to spread out around here. Oh, we also have shotguns here equipped on the uh, unique squad available to tank destroyer. Basically uses a bolt action model, but it, it's a shotgun. As you can see there. Panzer is trying to get close here, but they don't have a lot of support. Slowly being shot down in the open here by the machine guns of the tank. Valentine is up after trying to be a distraction. Sacrifice themselves and their vehicle. Trying to allow these Panzer to get away. Which they might not even do. Never mind, looks like they will get out of there. Meanwhile, down here looks like the Panzer II got destroyed again. Heine is trying to hold up. Freeze guns are to be equipped with some of the riflemen. A basic submachine gun available to the United States. Panzer flying around through the hedgerows. Get out the ladder being tossed. Very smart. Oh, that actually almost killed the squad. Good job, definitely, Pioneers. Just trying to stay at range and behind heavy cover. The BAS might suppress them if they keep this going. Americans are trying to push up, where they will be better at medium range. But they're still on the open, making them easy targets for the, for the uh, Germans. Another another good choice is showing up, but that pineapple did not go off. Pioneers might be in trouble. Good choice is still fairly fine, but they need to get behind cover. They have been suppressed. Not anymore. Pretty much enough to get behind cover, and the Americans are running from it at that point. Looks like the light, the Leutnant is running around here. Instagram being popped there. Doesn't do much. Valentine has lost its tracks over here. AT round being loaded, but it has to turn its its turret. Truck repairs its tracks. The Leutnant might want to get out of there. Oh, this, the haystack actually protected them for the most part. That's rare. And the Germans seem to be having issues. More and more Allied tanks are arriving, including a Churchill! I rarely get to see Churchill, so I'm excited. It's very heavy British uh, tank here. Love to see it. Oh, it looks like we have a little bit of a mechanized push here. 
from the American Japanese squad, the Nis Nihai or Nisai, I, be I believe. We have entirely with Thompson's here. One of the unique battle groups available to um, U.S. tank destroyer. Okay, these are American Japanese. I believe they had the highest number of Medal of Honors for a unit, but I might be mistaken. Because of their bravery. And they always, oh, I think they exclusively fought on the Western Front too. Because they were Americans that don't really trust them on the Eastern Front. Yeah, America was not be that trustful of the Japanese people during uh, World War II. Very unfortunate. Even for the, those that were really patriotic as these guys. Oh, mowing down the Panzer Grenadiers in short order. Really impressive. Oh, we also have a Jeep here with a 50 caliber machine gun. Listen up, man. We also have a US Major here in the field. And a Captain. Probably conversing uh, over some brandy what to do next. They wait for further orders. Maybe the British are engaging the tank battle not far from here. Ooh, heat round from the F1 penetrates. Very rare. Once the Churchill arrives, it's gonna be a problem. We also have some armored uh, engineers coming in behind in the half track. So they're gonna be the support crew for that Churchill. And the Churchill has been up armored here, so this thing is gonna be very hard to crack. Because the Churchill has a lot of armor. There's a Panzer 4G and a pack still. Might have enough means to penetrate it if they can get on the flank. Or detract it. So like the pioneers will spot it here. Get straight to the line of fire. Church needs to lead the way to half and needs to stay back, I feel. Hey, yeah, that, that's how you do it. While this is going on, the uh, Jeep is, is skirmishing down here. But the church is now advancing on the on open field. Oh, Panzer Boat is penetrating. The church's high health pool will help it stay around. Oh! Heat round hits the, hits the driver. Bumble tries to get in. F1 takes, gets taken out. Next target is the G. Churchill has to back off. Smoke being popped there by the Valentine to cover it. Very good uses of the abilities here and coordination between the armored forces from Kigurum. Rumble took a big hit there from Panzerfaust. Also get to pop smoke and back off. Panzer 4G needs some repairs here for the German side. We do have a Panzer 4H having arrived as well. But the American officers are moving a little bit closer to the front line. There's a Panzer 2 Luke's driving about. And they don't really have any AT equipment here. I guess the Nice side do have uh, sticky bombs, but it might not do. Oh, they also have Composite B. Ooh, can they get on the flank to throw that on it? That's a sticky bomb, I think. Which doesn't really do much. The sticky bomb is more or less just a uh, a sticky sock that you throw at the tracks to try to blow up the tracks. It did hurt the uh, tracks a lot, though, so it's going to back off. Panzer Jäger's uh, trying to get into a hiding position. I saw a funny video uh, earlier today of Squire releasing a video about uh, well, uh, a sketch. About uh, <laughs> about German anti-tank squads late in the war. Pretty funny. I always make some pretty funny content. Highly recommend. And he's moving up to repair that uh, Panzer II. Your captain remains about. We do have a uh, Jackson in the field. American tank destroyer with a 90mm gun. Pretty damn useful. The captain is being forced to run off here. Spotted by the Panzer Grenadiers. Looks well, like the British armored forces are trying to do another push. Churchill leads the way. Already being hit there by the Panzer 4 H. But the Churchill does is able to survive several penetrations. Makes it a very good breakthrough tank or Vanguard. Which I suppose is the point. But he's trying to repair it while under fire, actually. Ooh, good shot there on the Panzer Voyage. And the Churchill really just is a break. He can hold up to a lot of punishment. Ooh, Panzer Faust on the Valentine! So far, the Churchill's still holding. 
German shells are still landing in, but not doing much. Also, the Americans are the flank to help. Not a penetration hit the Churchill, pretty bad one. That's for H. Does get taken out though. Wait, so quickly trying to ensure they can get this thing repaired. We do have the Jackson moving up quickly to help. That's what the Jeep is doing. Now the Nisai is coming to flank here. Jackson takes out the Panzer IV G. Cromwell pushes up here with a high explosive rounds. Trying to take out the crew of that uh, pack. The idea is moving up with the open with the Panzer Faust, but I have to pull back as the Cromwell backs off. Looks like the half track is moving ahead to support. Somehow able to face into the Cromwell. Not sure about that one. Cromwell leads the way. Virtual can actually start advancing again. Probably should. Cromwell is taking some hits. Veteran C5 half track. Damn. Done a lot of support work. Churchill has cleared out the pack through. We do have another Panzer 4 8 arriving. Panzer is getting on the flank here. Pioneers trying to get close with the, the Panzer Knager. They do not. Oh, they do get the Panzer Knager off! Will they destroy the Churchill? Oh, it does! Yeah, the Panzer Knager is very powerful. I think that's a comet now coming in here for the British. So they're upskilling to even heavier. Yet. Well, not really heavier, but. Or advanced tanks. You know, the Panzer 4G is now on the move here. Only the Cromwell is here to threaten it. Half tank is taken out. Jackson moves up to try and help the British. Doesn't penetrate. Cromwell gets taken out. Looks like some artillery is being called here by the Germans. Well, the Panzer 2 moves down the road. Panzer is trying to get around the flanks. Oh, there is a fighting position, but it has lost its gunner. Panzer 2 gets taken out. The Panzer Gadiers are on the flank here. Using this farm build to the advantage. Also, the command team is also trying to get around somewhere, but it's... A little narrow way you can walk through there, by evidently. Minefield is on this point. Which the command team quickly finds out. So the Nisai is trying to stop the uh, Panzer Gadiers, but they're stopping heavy losses. They do throw some grenades in. The Panzer Gadiers are still about. Getting back inside the structure. Which is where K team is about here. Looks like the German Panzers now sold in the Northern Trench Network. The British are lacking in equipment up here to stop it. But we do have a Comet coming up here. Rolling very quickly. The Iron Duke. Let's see if we'll do anything against the Panzers. Oh, good shot there. Jackson supporting it. Uh, the, the Comet has a unique thing. But actually has a very high chance to penetrate, but it's less damage. Because it's using a unique type of round. And you actually can look, switch between armor piercing or discarding Sabo. Currently it's using discarding Sabo, which does mean increased penetration, but less damage. So you basically can do a lot of chip damage constantly. Unlike with the AP, where if you penetrate, you do a lot of damage. But with the Sabo, you just continuously, reliably penetrate. It's handy. I suppose trying to get close here, but Jackson supports. And the combat is really good at just getting reliable penetrations because of those discarding saber rounds. So the Panzer is still holding up here to the best of their ability. Using their Stoom Gewehr to their advantage. They are suffering losses. Might not be able to get out of their life. Well, they might actually be able to if they can get out now. Let's need to not run this way. Yeah, but they're going that way. Ragged team might not make it. Yeah, Wreck 18 got mowed down. It looks like he's just gonna run up here to the command bunker. 
Does that make sense? King Tiger is soon gonna be arriving. We're gonna see an actual King Tiger in this battle? That's what I expected. We'll see what it does. That's gonna be calling around this and power point. Man team's gonna try to hold back the engineers. Man has been tossed though. MP4 just do mode him down though. Oh, that grenade did not do anything! Another Jackson rolling onto the front line. Ghost Toys and Panzerius on the move again. And the Panzerius over here being re replenished from the uh, Sensate Spunger. Another Panzer for H running for the Lightning Division. And we have a. Uh, is this a Centaur? I think this is a Centaur. Which is a British anti air tank. We don't really see the Centaur that often. Honestly, we don't really see the British that often, but it's nice to see them. They just have a lot of versatility if you uh, tech right. They can do a lot of variety of things. Right, the sense out there, Panzer just want to get out of there. Twin and axe, quickly opening fire. Second comet on the field, so two comets uh, coordinating can do a lot of work. That's for H moving down the road. Isaiah holding up behind a destroy Panzer II. Uh, and being equipped fully with the uh, submachine guns with the Thompsons. As well as extra rations. Allows them to heal when out of combat, which is neat. There's a buck here with the uh traders. Don't get there anymore. Jackson's on the move up through the road. Meanwhile, the Allied Air Force keeps dropping in fuel supplies for the front line. Got a pack ringing all up here by the Lac de Division. Trying to make a strong point in this open field. But the Panzer is still slowly probing. I think at long range, the uh, Panzer should win, but their cover is gone. And with no cover, they are now suppressed out in the open. They're just going to die bit by bit. Yeah, I think those Panzer might want to get out of there. They might already be too late. The Americans are too close. King Tiger has reached the front line, though. The King Tiger is going to do a lot of work, but against 90mm Jacksons? I'm not sure it's going to last that long if the Jacksons can coordinate or get around it. By now, the King Tiger has revealed itself. So now the Allies know what they're dealing with. It's also still ordered to find infantry, which I don't think is a good use of its gun. So the Panzer IV H is going to provide some supports. But the Comets are preparing to have a flanking maneuver. But they're going to be in the visual of the Wehrmacht, certainly. Yep, they've been spotted. So the Wehrmacht knows the Comets on the way. There can be con teams staying nearby so they can keep eyes on the thing. They have Flair to keep eyes on it. King Tiger reveals itself towards the center. Center backs off. The Axis are preparing for a flank. Very good coordination here from the Allied players. The Axis are getting their, gun, their guns pointed. Doesn't penetrate! And now that King Tiger knows that the Axis are there on the flank. Jackson is trying to get them fire on the side. Come goes in for a flanking shot. Penetrates. Engine damage. Because the Comet will have a high penetration chance thanks to its uh, saber rounds, as you can see. The King Tech has to back off. But the head throws in the way. Hans Foyd taken out. Comet almost gets taken out there. Artillery has been called in. Oh, that's actually an anti-air strike, I think. Yeah, that's the uh, American Air Force now coming in. They've seen the they've seen the Tiger Tang and they're going for it. That's three planes overhead. But they're not going in for a strafe yet. It's because they cannot see it. Oh, oh Garment got a shot in. Or is it? 
Is the airstrike not moving work as intended? Could be bugged. But it certainly means the Germans gonna stay there. Yeah, I'm not sure that barrage uh, that that strike is. Hva. In neutral or friendly territory. It does not work in hostile territory, that's why. It only works in neutral or friendly territory. Good to know. That's why the tiger ta the king tiger was not targeted. That's an important little distinction. Looks like the uh, observation stock is calling in a uh, barrage of its own. It's going to be near the us, 15 centimeter. Just widespread across the fields. Now this one is neutral, but the tank is already out of it, so it's not going to take me to target it. Very important distinction there. Last last for a while though, so I can see it's a very good defensive ability. Also the Jackson's gonna, gonna try and go in for the kill. Might be risky out in the open here. Or they might be going for the command stuck. Stock still holds up, but it backs off. But yeah, I feel the Germans should probably invest in some anti-air after seeing this. Pink Tiger's gonna be targeted. Now the Jackson's gonna have a hard time pinching the front of this thing. As you can tell. But the Allies are trying to start to work on it. Thomas gonna try and get a shot in. Third jam on the Comet though. Third jam on the stock, but that doesn't really have much of a turret, I guess. Oh, penetration there on the King Tiger, it has to keep backing off. Jackson says just taking out the Panzer Force bit by bit. Comet does go down. Smoke, by, smart, yeah. smoke pop by the Panzer Force, but while this is going on, the Germans are now advancing on the other flank, realizing there's not much to stop them. But the King Tiger is without support, he needs to keep backing off. That's awkward. Leobox Panzer gets, gets taken out. One Jackson gets killed. But he's still going after the King Tiger. Crew dazed. Jackson going in for the final kill. Oh, Comet failed to penetrate. That King Tiger needs repairs immediately. That King Tiger witnessed a lot there. But its frontal armor has paid off. But the Enopo Blitz is being requisitioned to send repairs for it. Meanwhile, the Wehrmacht has secured the northern flank here. Already getting an MP42 ready to get inside the trench. We need to work it around here. You cannot enter from there, you need to get back behind it. Oh, you can- alright, you can vault with the, with the crew teams, not the pack though. Pants of OG in the field. That won't do much against the common, I think. Oh, it does seem to drive by. Oh! Failed to hit. Pants of OG trying to get away. Got to shut down the rear, though. Repairs happening on the King Tiger. But both fuel points are in allied hands at the moment. Not a comet is rolling down to the field. Oh boy. Now it's somewhat quieted down as the Germans are trying to figure out how to do, proceed from here. So we have a tech up here for the Germans just a repair station. Allow their tanks to replenish uh, to repair faster once they get into base. Not a bad choice, actually. A normal target tank is also being requisitioned. Looks like the uh, high command is sending in a very heavy armor here to try and stop the allies. But the map is about to be cut off. If this point is taken, they're not getting any resources from the northern part of the map. 
The Germans have to get that rope point back. Panzerfaust. Does some good damage there. And I'm not sure what the British retreat path is there. That's getting them killed. Yeah, I mean, the extra repairs now on the King Tides is going to be ready for action soon. And yeah, that path was kind of awkward. I will agree there. We're going to have more comments on the field shortly. That's a lot of good, high quality armor for the British. So the King Tide is on the move again. Looks like there's been an upgrade with a Panzer Office here. To increase its. Uh, Accuracy in tank to tank fighting. We'll not have a machine gun on top though to deal with infantry. That's where all the infantry supporting it will be for. King Tiger sights there on the comet. Got its engine burning on one shot there. British and, and Americans need to figure out how to deal with this King Tiger. But now, if it moves into this territory, the captain can do his airstrike. And it should actually work this time. No, wait, it's not the captain, it's the major that can do it. Damn, that's expensive! Oh, wait, that says it's in all territory. Yikes. Yeah, oh, for that cost, I can understand that. That's a very powerful ability. Well, the uh, American major here from Tank Destroyer. Scavenging happening for the Germans, good to see. 50 fuel from that wreck. Very smart. And the Tiger tank has arrived now to support the King Tiger. So lots of heavy armor arriving here for the Germans. King Tiger knows where that comet is. Comet needs to be very careful where they position. So far, the armor's holding up. But it's not really firing. There we go. That's a shot. Okay, penetrate it. Tiger tank on the flank, though. Oh, Jackson's getting shots into the Tiger tank. Now, the, the Jacksons can easily penetrate the normal Tiger easily. That should not be a problem for them. They can just hunt it down. Looks like meanwhile the Americans are pushing down here. Take out a little point again closer to German base. Bit by bit. Germans need to make a move somewhere else. Looks like some A2 Sherrins are being mobilized. Probably to head north to try and cut the Germans off up here. Oh, they're calling in the big one! They're calling in the big one! Now this one should actually target the German tanks so they can see them. Yep, they're coming in for their bombing runs. I don't think the Wehrmacht is prepared. Yep, here comes the rockets. Yeah, there's no anti-air from the German side. They take up one plane though. Looks like the rest of the American planes are, are retreating after that. They did their runs, killing a Tiger and an Opel Blitz, and the King Tiger severely damaged, and indeed an Ostwind is now being requisitioned. But with that, the Allies are pushing. Comet and uh, and troops moving up through the flanks, and the Shermans are pushing on, uh, on the full front. They have been equipped with high explosives, so, so Thunder Run has been researched, so they can just pierce through the front line. Comet driving really far through, that's risky. So the King Tiger got destroyed here. Comet's got a, got a shot at the side and caused the ammo to cook off. Not looking good for the Germans here. Panzergranger could go on this Comet. Yep, Panzergranger hit it. That's that Comet. No, wait, it's alive! I am not sure how. You know, the Germans are pushing through. That's what Jesus costs the Amos cook off. Or the Panzerfog does get 
Oh, it's still there. Oh wait, it was a different thing I was looking at. The Germans hold the front line for now. They have been cut off again. Pans, uh, Jackson quickly rushing up, takes out the Panzer 4G. More comments rolling onto the roads. Big Allied armor push here. They just need to keep applying the pressure. But the Germans have been cut off up here. They cannot really do much. And the Allied tanks just keep rolling forward. But there's a lack of infantry support, but the Thunder Run from the Sherman can definitely support here. Hansgard gives us indeed trouble. Sherman gets taken out there. Looks like the Germans are just quickly relocating and abandoning the trench network. They need to hold our front line. Hans Jäger's on the field. They go with a Panzer Strike. Oh, they missed! Once we load the thing. And aiming. They got a good shit uh, shot there. Destroying a gun. The comments are just driving around. Comments are very fast, as name implies. Another ship around here for the United States. Not sure what the uh, Wehrmacht is going to do to try and counteract this. They are really running low on stuff. The Allied pa tanks are just overmanning them at this point. But the packs are far. Someone holding up. Not a comet took a big damage there. Smoke popped. The Germans are still cut off up here. Smoke being popped to obscure the retreat. There we go. That's another cupboard gone. And more tanks have been called here by the British. We have a very big British armored push. The Americans are investing more and more in Shermans. Not a bad choice considering they have fun to run. They can easily overpower a German infantry defense. Comments are being uh, rolled back for repairs. And that comment has taken quite the beating. Standing by. I can break the recon team, keeps an eye on what the Germans are doing. Or German Panzer is moving about. Might spot this recon team if they get too close. Oh, they'll definitely spot them. Yep, they've been spotted. That is a 17 pounder that the British have set up. Big ass gun. That's also a minefield right there. 30 calibers setting up to try and cover the ground. Trying to prevent the uh, German advance from happening. Grenades being tossed into the minefields. Not really doing much, because it's just fragmentation grenades. And you've two rips into the 30 caliber. But the caliber is still operational though. And can shoot at the MG42 team. And you've also decided it wants to pull further back. Or get behind better cover. Oh, smoke round, very smart. Shotgun's got a good shot in there though on the MG42 team. And MG42 opens fire and suppresses. But the allies get around its arc of fire. The accents are remaining in reserve. Sherman's pushing up. Taking the hit there from the pack. Smoking popped. MG42 has been decrewed. One Sherman gets taken out. Hans is suffering heavy losses. Just shooting at where the uh, they expect the Germans to be. Well, it's time to hit the AT gun. 
It's just 180 going against two Thunder on Shermans and a Centaur. It's already been pinned down due to the Centaur. They can't really do much while they're pinned. But so far, the AG rounds are really hitting it. There's too, just too much fire coming away. The pack is trying to support. They do manage to take out a Sherman there. Oh, the Centaur is aiming too low. Well, this is going to have a lot more Comets coming into the field. That's a lot of Comets. That's a lot, a lot of Comets. I don't think I've ever seen that many comments on one battlefield at once. There's something a lot of German tanks. I'm not really sure the comments are the best choice. I'm sure the comments are still good, but there's just there's not anything the uh, saber rounds really do much against. Not really an infantry killer, so to speak. Just a very mobile, medium, medium tank that's really good at dealing with other German tanks. Not a, not a King Tiger! Oh god, we actually got to see another King Tiger. You know, the Lightning Vision is getting a Command Panther. And digging into the best of their abilities. Doing their best to try and hold the line. American officers are pushing forwards. I guess the Major wanted part of the action. Looks like the Jacksons are moving on the flank here with the American infantry pushing up. They are in range of the German base. Juggernaut's not opening fire. But at this range, they might not do much. Yeah, they take a while to take aim at this range. But if those Pascadiers get closer. And they're so far not really hitting. Well, the shotguns actually do have a pretty good range real life, and I think they even do here, but just on no luck this time. Lots of packs have been rolled up here by the Germans. Of course, all the bungers are turning into machine gun bungers to just help hold the line. This comment has been designated as the command tank, as you can see. Command vehicle. An ability that the British tank commander can do. I think also armor can do it. So all the other British tanks will fight better when they are around the command tank. Tensa lost his optics. Man Panther's really looking to the southern flank. The Jacksons could probably deal with a Panther fairly reliably. They do have 90mm guns on them. German pushing up to scout ahead. Jackson's not taking aim. So far, they both failed to penetrate. That Panther should probably start backing off. And he did this. Oh, popped. Oh, high explosive. They almost killed them. Kills the Panther, yes. So far, this Jackson's failing to penetrate the Panthers. The Panther. New Tiger Tank or King Tiger has arrived with some Bruce Deutschlands. Hans Agnanius. Yes. The pack front is just waiting patiently up here against the Comets. Look at all these Comets! One, two, three, four, five, six! Six Comets on the battlefield! What the hell? Sure, they got like no infantry! But, oh, oh my god. They also have an armored major in the field here for the British. What he can do? He can do stand fast, boys. Time and I don't know what to Doesn't seem like the best officer, to be honest. Just sitting around thinking what to do. King Tiger is on the field, though, and that is something the Allies will have to coordinate to take care of. King Tiger story drives forward. That's a lot of Shermans! 
Oh, the yeah, allies know what's coming. Jackson taking shots. But the ship is not going to do much against the King Tiger. Unless they can get really close. The King Tiger just take them out one by one, and they have, it has a plan for support. Oh, one penetration. Sherman got close. Ammo cooked. Cover trying to get into the flank. Allies lost a lot of tanks. Common has gotten behind the flank. Stoke is trying to turn around. Command Panther is doing a counter assault down here. Also, the pa Command Panther is doing a good job. Just killing out the Gunners and the Jacksons. They cannot do anything to stop it. It's just driving after them now. There is a mine, though. Let's see if they can lure it into it. No, it's swerving around. It's not going to hit the mine. Jacksons cannot do anything. Okay, well, the Pekamid is behind here. But ammo cooked, though. And the King Tiger needs repairs. Half has to got all the Jacksons, but now the Comets are coming down here. Comets are also being spotted moving down here, but the pack front is getting side shots. Only doing some minor damage, though. But the command panther might have overreached. Also, the command stock is trying to get up a good pursuit. Gun. Heavy damage to the tracks. It's actually been immobilized. Looks like the uh, United States Air Force is coming in too. Well, what's coming in? Not sure what happened there. Also, the Nisai getting on the flank here. Using a composite B, that's going to be a dead panther. Yep, there it goes. That King Tiger needs repairs. They are sticking into the front line a little bit too long. Coming on the flank. Gets it. How oh, you can just swerve around the hedgerows. At this point, they have kind of hold for a while. Not looking good for the Germans. They've suffered a lot of losses. A lot of heavy armor. If the Allies can just overrun the front line somewhere, it could end this. They have the means now, I'm pretty sure. Especially with all the comets just rolling in. So many comets. Just speed up time a bit for and see how things go. Jump's bring up some more infantry. Okay, the allies are assaulting here. All a lot of comets sent us. Just need to actually push and attack the base. Jim's calling a lot of troops here to replenish their losses. Half of tanks are being called in. The hedgerows are covering a lot of infantry here. Center just cuts into the hedgerows. Half a tank has arrived here. The allies just need to push through. They said they have the tanks. And that lone panther I don't think will do a lot against this. Especially with the uh, comments presence. Yeah, let's just need to push in. There is a pack on the flank there, though. Fancy Aegis.
But yeah, at this point, I think you could easily and safely surrender. You've got a good long match. But we are going to see a Tiger tank here from the uh, Germans again. Panzer Dragon on uh, the command cupboard. Almost killing it. Oh, Panzer Strike does kill out one combat though. The allies just need to keep on the pressure. They have the troops back here, they just need to replenish them. But the comets and centaurs are suffering losses. It's all still holding the front line over here. Not really anything threatening it. British and the Americans are just keeping an eye on it. Make sure the Germans don't try anything. As the bridges gear up again for another push, let's speed up time again until something happens. Let's bring some infantry around. We can run flights overhead from the British, for some reason. Hanscom are going to try and get a round up here. Well, the, the Germans are trying to get this point back. Hanscom are getting into the trench. There's a Vickers K placement though. I'm not sure what that plane is doing. Is that is that scouting for the command vehicle? That might be what's going on. Like it's flying around and spotting for the command vehicle and coordinating. Tiger tank is on the field here though. Trying to fight all these uh, comets. And the comet can easily penetrate the front of the of the uh, Tiger tank here with the saber rounds. So the Tiger tank has a good gun. The man tank is really going for it. Lost his vision in sides though. But this going on, the Panzer have actually managed to secure the trench. Reckade team is still up there. Back and tanks are rolling up though. And here comes the United States Air Force, I'm pretty sure. Yep. The United States Air Force is coming in again with some rocket runs. Is it the one that can allow us to spot everything? It is not, it's the one from the captain, I'm pretty sure. Which means it's not gonna target any of these vehicles. Unless they leave the base or their friendly territory. Alright, I need repairs. The German base is just being shelled now by the Germans. Oh, beer box pants are taking some shots. It's cleaned up, though. Comets are rolling towards the tiger. Oh, I don't think this tag is gonna make it. That's why he's got a good shot in, though. Tiger rolls behind, good to see. Tiger survives. But the Allies Germans are just pushing, that's a lot of Germans. And yeah, at this point, the Germans can easily just surrender. The fighting is basically over. But a stubborn defense to the end by looks of it. Sends her moving to take back the trench up here. Also, the planes just collapse when the effect runs out, which is very silly. Hopefully that can be fixed at some point. Shivers keep pushing, but there's a lot of packs holding them at bay. I'm uh, coming on the flank here. Takes out the Tiger. 
More comets rolling forward. Lots of comets. So many comets. Yeah, now the last German tank is gone. They could easily just surrender at this point. But the Germans seem to intend on just fighting to the end. Like at this point, there's no shame in surrendering and ending it. Because look at this point. It's fine. You fought well and hard. And the loon got had a long, good match. Well, that, that's not what you can do at this point. You're hemmed in and just being blown to pieces. Oh, something actually happened here. I think that was a call in from the. Uh, Oh, Nebel Gurkha calling from the half track there, okay. Yeah, at this point, just surrender. Like, you're just wasting time at this point. <laughs> I'm still surprised at all the comments, though. So many explosions there. And now they call the GG. And there it goes. Just as the Italians are called in as a last desperate ditch. <laughs> Alright. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Lots of comments, that's for certain. I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.